we give a little offering of uh, what we get. We give back, and uh, every year we feed the eagles out there. Just when you think of the, or you say or you think it out loud, it seems like they hear, and they show up. There's another one coming. Somewhere. There's one right there. So it's going to go for that one. Watch, it's on the ice, and it's going to watch, and it's going to go. That's uh, every year we do this. Amazing, eh? In the old days, our ancestors gave out food offerings for the uh, for the uh, the spirit world, and the eel was the the choice of uh, the choice of food they gave back. The other thing I think about is uh, my grandfather, right, and uh, his father. He said my father came home with five eels. There was a uh, twelve of them in the house, thirteen. Five eels will not feed the whole family. But he sacrificed one eel back. And he asked his father, why? Why did you do that? He said, he said, we cannot take all, we must give back. He said, the spirit world takes care of us when we give back. We refer to that as nedugulim, for that idea of like not taking more than you need. But now, um, you know, this is probably the best that we've done. Uh, on this day, and I'd say about five years, but the last time I came out, we only caught two. Um, and I've heard of, you know, there's been a couple guys that have come out and, uh, you know, make about 20 holes, they don't catch any. There, look at that! Oh, yeah. Take it this way so you won't go in the water. There, look at that! When we walk with the spirit world in this, in this world, we do things in a good way. But when people do not walk with the spirit world, then greed, uh, hate, um, all these uh, all these bad things that come with that. You know, my feeling is that we we don't really get a big voice in, in some of the issues, um, and a lot of our elders are concerned about uh, eels because of how important they are to our culture. Oh, that's it. Our grandchildren are going to be affected. Our intergenerational food security is in jeopardy. Um, people are accumulating intergenerational wealth through this overfishing, millions of dollars. And, right, and at the same time, it's really uh, putting our intergenerational food security in jeopardy. So you have one against the other. It's, I think um, the introduction of our fishery was the worst thing you could do to a fishery. Look at the camera. We are not here alone on this earth, you know, there's other. So that word that we pray with all my relation, it connects to all the, the things, mm -hmm. the air, the water, the sun all the living things that we we are all connected if we if we acknowledge it